Hey guys, Lazers here again, and it's time for the second episode in the series Photoshop for the Complete Beginners. Today we're going to go through the tools, um, only in basic, so I'm not going to go too much in depth in all of them, we'll leave them for later on. But I'll teach you what most of the tools do, and when you should use them, and why you should use them. Um, I'm not going to talk about all the tools because most of them you don't use unless you specialize in something like web design or I don't know but I'll teach you all the tools that I use most of the time I'm not professional but I know enough about Photoshop to make things look good uh, so let's get started let me get this off um, let's close this Bye. Now, if you remember what I taught you in the new series, we'll just make a new image. International paper A4 150 because I don't want it to be too big. Right, so you got our first new document. These are tools on the side. It should some look something like this or like this. It depends on how you have it. If you click and drag on this little thing oh. well we should be able to move it there we go if you click and drag on this you can move it around wherever you want to if you feel like you want it here you can move it there or move it back over here I normally have it here somewhere so um, let's just get an image up and now I can show you tools and what they do. I'll just open this up that I created. So the first thing you want to do if you open up an image just this is your layers. You can make new layers. I'll talk about layers in the next episode because I don't want to go into that yet. I'm just going to go through the tools. So what you want to do you want to unlock this layer so double click. Actually what I normally do is duplicate the main image in case you mess it up or something you can always get it back so right click duplicate layer background copy click OK and then you got a copy and it's not logged anymore and in case you mess something up and you can't undo it you can just duplicate the background image again instead of opening it up again or whatever so the first tool what we have here is the move tool so obviously it's pretty straightforward you can move your image around I'll just turn the background layer off here we go so basically all you do is you move either your image or your current selection around okay um, so pretty straightforward and again if you mess something up you can just go control Z uh, or control Z if you make more mistakes and that will undo it. Now the next tool I want to talk about is the rectangular marquee tool or elliptical marquee tool. Um, they both do the same thing really um, it's just a different shape so what it does you can make a selection in a square like so and now that is your selection so what you can do within a selection, you can either delete that selection, like so, or you can, if I get this brush up, um, change it to, I don't know, red. If you notice, if I start trying to draw around here, it's not going to work because it's not within the selection. But if I do in the selection, you see, it only does it within the current selection, alright? So the other thing is the elliptical marquee tool is basically the same thing but it does the selection within a different um shape like so alright and then I only I can only modify things or edit things within that selection. Now when you make a selection sometimes you accidentally make a little selection that you can't C okay and what happens normally is that people they try to let's say if I make a tiny selection here right on my layer 
it's really hard to see right so if I didn't notice that I made that selection I wouldn't realize that something is selected and I try to paint on my image here and it doesn't work and I'm like what the hell is going on and it's because you got a selection over there but I don't know that so what you want to do if something doesn't work it's probably because it's either I'm on a brush tool now I'll talk about this in a minute more but it's either because my opacity is down or my flow is down or because I have something else selected or because I'm on the wrong layer alright but what you want to do is learn the shortcut which is control D alright and it deselects all your selections it's in here as well if you're going to select you got deselect right control D so basically what it does it just deselects that and I can paint on my image again alright so learn that control D if you got something selected you want to deselect it just control D it now the next thing is the lasso tool it's basically another selection tool but this one is freehand so I can just go and make this selection like so close it up and then I'll make that selection and it's the same thing I can paint within here oh my opacity is down you see there's a reason why it's so dark there we go right another thing in here if you click oh yeah by the way if you want to get up the other tools within the main tool category you just gotta click and drag and then it will come up the next tool is the polygonal lasso tool so if I want to be more precise and let's say make a selection in I wanna cut out my logo then I just click once pull and you see it makes a line if I click again then my next line will be from there so let's say I want to cut out this letter I'll just go around it easy another thing I can teach you with this if you press down shift alright while you're doing this it will do it in a straight line alright so you can be more precise but it will only do it in angles say 45 degrees or 23 or whatever alright so there we go and then I join it up and it makes my selection now if I wanted to cut that letter out all I gotta do is control X which is for cut out oh I guess there we go alright and I just cut my letter out really nice and neat or if I wanted to do this box I can either do it with this the rectangular marquee tool like this or I can just do it with this one so I just go around click once hold down shift and it pulls me a nice straight line and it makes my life very easy and precise if you make a mistake you can just push um, backspace and it deletes your previous point alright Another thing is the magnetic lasso tool. I don't use this often because it's not very precise, but it can come useful sometimes. What this one does is if I think it either follows the colours or I don't know what it follows, but it makes the points by itself, okay? So it tries to follow the shape. If I do it nice and slowly, I can either click to make an extra point but basically it's just another selection tool alright pretty straightforward um, the next one is oh yeah by the way I'm in full screen mode where well, I was a minute ago oh, sorry I'm just changing my views here um, hang on sorry let's just see right um, I'm out of time but because I haven't uploaded for a long time I'll make a bonus video for you so um, because I had some issues with my computer so what I'm going to do I'll make today I'll make all the videos for all the tools which is probably going to be about three episodes I think um, because I haven't uploaded for about four weeks and I'm going to try to upload once a week at least for you guys 
um, so hopefully I'll keep you teaching new things so um, that's about it give us a like if you like it so I know that I'm doing good also I changed my audio settings so if it's better than in the last video make sure you like so I know or leave a comment and I'll see you guys in the next episode like favorite subscribe would be great see you later